Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, based on the time you are watching. This video belongs to a series with an aim to educate the masses on the very basics of sustainability and its related topics, including their actions and impacts. No prior knowledge of any subject is required. Let us explore today's topic. These pictures, symbols, icons are now very famous across the internet. They look colorful, attractive, and meaningful. Well known as SDGs, UN SDGs, or Sustainable Development Goals. But what are these goals? How and why are they developed and what is their importance? To answer these questions, we must learn about its history. It all started with a vision and dream of United Nations to make the world a better place to live. September 2000, New York at one of the largest gatherings of the world leaders representing 189 countries adopted the United Nations Millennium Declaration with a target to achieve it by 2015, eventually known as MDGs, Eight Millennium Development Goals, not SDGs, but MDGs. It was developed by experts focusing primarily on poverty reduction along with human rights, empowerment, and equality. Each goal had specific target and a date to achieve those targets. In total, there were 8 goals, 21 targets, and 63 indicators. Most of the MDG goals and targets required changes in the developing countries or by the developing countries, whereas only MDG 8, that is Global Partnership for Development, points to the responsibilities of developed countries. MDG 1 did a great job by reducing extreme poverty rates by half, five years ahead of 2015 deadline, which constitutes almost 471 million people. Almost 21 million lives have been saved due to the accelerated progress. The impact was prominent, but just not enough and was uneven throughout the countries. Forward to June 2012, Rio de Janeiro. UN Conference on Sustainable Development initiated a process to develop new goals which will carry the momentum generated by MDGs and align with the global framework beyond 2015. To create this new agenda, a global consultation was conducted online and offline. Civil society organizations, citizens, scientists, academics, and the private sector from around the world were all actively engaged in the process producing the new document in 2014, which was later developed and adopted in September 2015 by 193 countries as SDGs. You can call it MDG 2.0 or MDG Reborn. SDGs expanded the basic objective of the MDGs and include four goal dimensions, inclusive social development, inclusive economic development, environmental sustainability, and peace and security. With 17 goals, 169 targets, and 232 indicators to be achieved by 2030, SDGs have broader scope, perspective, and inclusivity. They are aimed at all countries, whether developed or developing, unlike MDGs focused mainly on developing countries. SDGs provided a common language and measuring criteria for whole world to track their goals and progress towards sustainable development. UN releases yearly report country-wise on all goals based on the data gathered by different indicators. If you want to check how your nation is performing on SDGs, check this website and explore data. You might be surprised about the progress of certain countries. Link is also mentioned in the description below. The SDGs can only be obtained when the government and private sector go together hand in hand. Businesses can target certain SDGs relative to their area of operation and achieve measurable progress. UN Business Council for Sustainable Development released the prioritization of SDGs by different businesses around the world as per this figure. Unfortunately, SDG 1 and 2 are way below in the priority zone. We are already halfway through the life of SDGs. We may not achieve all its goals by the deadline but time will tell how well it performed. Thank you for watching up to this point. If you want me to discuss any other topic related to this subject, please mention it in the comment and I will try my best to come up with a short video covering the basics. Have a good day.